Welcome to Draw Your Mind. My name is Joey. And today I want to talk about having a conversation in your imagination with a specific person. The powerful thing about the imagination is that you can have any conversation you want. And a lot of times we know what we don't want, but we sometimes aren't sure what we do want. And that's what is awesome that I have found in visualization and meditative practice is when you allow the subconscious mind to work and take over and you allow the beta state, conscious, analytical, rational thoughts to slow down, you can grasp in between the gaps of thoughts what it is you really want and what it is you are really searching for within those opinions and within those ideas and within those comments and within the thoughts that are running around and around in your head all day long regarding different things, but in this case regarding a specific person. You go within and you create an image of that person. But first you get into a nice and relaxed state of mind where you can really focus and you do some meditative breathing or just going into that alpha state. And that can be done in very short amount of time. And from there you create an image of this person and you, you continue to go deeper into an alpha state and deeper into your imagination by taking your senses and really feeling into the scene. And then you can begin to have the conversation with this person. And a lot of clarity can come from this conversation. When you let go of the conscious mind and you go into your subconscious mind, the more and more you do that, you allow the superconscious, which is your higher self, your intuitive self to come through. It automatically will start to build and you will see a different side of yourself and the side that wants peace in your life, the side that wants understanding, the side that wants clarity and healing. You know, you think about breathing, it's voluntary. You can think about it but it's also involuntary and it keeps you alive. And you can think about that with subconscious and superconscious mind that those things are always working for you, but we get in the way. Our thoughts get in the way, our habits get in the way, our emotions that we are just so used to, but it's not who you are. And when you take a moment to quiet all of those repetitive patterns and you go within the subconscious mind, and you say, oh, I get it. I want to feel good. I want to feel strong. I want to feel, I want to heal my body. I want to heal my emotions. I want to have clarity over my feelings and clarity over my thoughts. And why do I keep having these same thoughts? What do I actually believe and want? Because it's easy for us to say, I don't want this from this person or even from myself. I don't want that. I, uh. But what do you want? And what would it look like to have it? That is the power of imagination. And that is the teachings of Neville Goddard, that the imagination is really our life. It is our entire life. We can take back our power by going within. So we are going to go within and meditate and talk to a person that we want to talk to. Maybe it's somebody you're in conflict with. Maybe it's just somebody you want to have a conversation with. And I have other meditations on revising a scene. Maybe you want to do a revision. So I'll link that too. You can have a conversation with a specific person to revise a scene that you've had, or maybe it's a regular conversation that you always have with this person and you want to revise it. You want a different story and you can go in and revise it. In this case, we are going to just make an image of a specific person and you are going to talk to that person and you're going to allow yourself to feel the way you feel and not judge yourself. So if you're feeling upset, Go in and feel into that and talk to this person about what you are upset about. Or if you're feeling good about this person, you can go in and tell them. Maybe you have trouble expressing yourself to somebody and telling them how you feel about them. This is great practice to say, I really love this person and I want to express them to them my love. And I don't know how to do that very well in my real world right now. So I'm going to go in and imagine myself telling them how much I care about them. So you can do this in so many ways, the power of your imagination. And the more you do it, the more it will become your reality. It will harden into fact, as Neville Goddard likes to say. We have to make it real by going into our imagination and creating the reality. I have several meditations I will link below. The most recent one I just did is a conversation with Donald Trump. Whether you're on the right, on the left, or not political at all. Maybe you will find you have something to say to him. Maybe you will have a question. And maybe you can gain some clarity over your political views, over what's going on in the world, over just let your imagination go. And you can do this without me guiding you. Because there is 
quite a bit of when I do it this way, I have to just keep it very, very general. And when I do interactive guided imagery, I can listen to some answers and keep progressing. In this case, I leave it pretty open. I set the scene and then you allow, you just allow and you, you don't, it's really letting go of thought and getting into a place where your imagination will start to take over. So it's okay to have an intention and have an ideal image and have an ideal story, but being open to how that conversation might go. Um, I want to just get some emotions off my chest. I want to feel into this. I want to express myself. So go in with an intention. Just take a couple minutes in a very quiet place. Maybe you can put on some meditative music and just say, I am going to meet so-and-so and I'm going to really get in that scene. Or you can do it with, again, with a guided meditation. Okay, everybody, I hope this was helpful to you. Realize the power of your imagination. It is a beautiful, beautiful thing. And you really don't realize how awesome it is because we all get caught up in our everyday thoughts that are swirling around and around. And taking a moment to take an intention in and gain clarity is one of the best positive things you can do for yourself on any given day. The power of your imagination can heal you and help you to listen to your intuition more and more. Go do one of those meditations. Thank you for being here and I will see you all in the next video.